Okay, for the 900th time. If it's not NVIDIA, it's people ringing me up. I don't know. Right, 1.6 is out. And the world is, is colluding against me to actually play the game. <laughs> so we started with Group C. Now we're on uh, DTMs. See if we can get a video out of this. I'm only doing three laps. It's about the field. So, first up, DTMs. We've got a mix of released and, yes, mod cars. Fred has already got all of his mods out for 1.6. The man's a beast. Um, so we have got some uh, mod DTMs in here. I am in the Audi. I'm sitting way too low. Just let me address that. There you go. So yeah, you will see mod cars on here running perfectly well with the new AI and the new physics. So big hats off to uh, Fred. He's been a busy lad. And also, if you download that pack, you'll find his new time attack cars, all three of them, including a 800 plus brake horsepower Mazda MX-5. Crazy stuff. Okay, here we go. So, first up, and I'll come back to it, the AI. We're on lap one. We are not in a train of cars. Everybody's not tripping over each other. As they all get in a train of cars. Um, but um, I'll come back to it. Keep your eye on them. So graphically, yep, yeah, got rid of the uh, bright luminous green. Trees are looking 3D. Colour palettes, chef's kiss, all looking good. Really noticeable on some of the cars. Um, We'll see them as we go along. I am in the Audi, by the way, the uh, the new Audi DTM. Sounds you'll hear. I don't know if you'll hear, but you'll you, in car you hear the distinct sounds of the other cars around you, um, which adds a kind of. A layer do you like a three-dimensional effect of I can hear the other cars around me and the distinct sounds oh. and the problem with driving stick shift is you drift half your time not even half your time 99% of the time trying to drive these things one-handed what the other hand on your gears stick Okay, so sounds, yes, suitably improved. Quite nice, quite nice indeed. As the AI are just doing their thing, wow. They will make mistakes as well. <laughs> and you can actually set a level of the mistakes that they do. I, how stupid they are, or how godlike they are in your settings before each race. I kid you not, it's a thing now. But enough about the AI, we'll come back to it in a bit. The cars, the fields. Forget your slip angles. That's about as much of a slip angle as you're getting as what I've just put in there. Slip angles are a thing, but they're not. See, that is your slip angle there. That is now a drift. That is not a slip angle that I'm doing there as the cars pull away from me. That's that's the difference. No longer are you going to be driving like a drift king and making time up. 
and you get into a slide these things are not designed like drift cars or movie cars they don't want to do that so you will get into trouble so you just don't do that because you realize it's me getting the wrong gear again so the other thing is overturning this wheel you'll notice and you can go back and look uh, the small inputs I'm putting on the wheel that's because I now have a greater feedback where the edge of turning grip is I, if I overturn like that instantly I know I'm, I'm just scrubbing the front wheels and bad things are happening you can't keep doing that you'll just drive off the track with your front tyres on fire talking of tyres now I am getting enough feedback to tell when my tyres are getting a little bit warm and a little bit squidgy as we go into a mad slide <laughs> and yeah as you can see I've got to switch off that part of my brain that goes oh that's how you're going no that, that, that's how you go out the race <laughs> you get into those slides and it's not easy to get out of them and you will lose a load of time so yeah, cars are feeling super connected with the road. The braking, my god, the braking is just fantastic. The amount of feedback you're getting off the brake sounds like a stupid thing, but it just gives you so much more control. As I'm getting tapped from the rear, taps at the front. You get a draft because the drafting now is actually making a suitable difference. On the back of the Sierra into sixth, and we'll just drag them in as you can see. And we'll use our Andy brakes. Oh, just tap one, just to squeeze in between them. And uh, yeah, that was a bit of a sneaky dive. Check our brake temperatures, tyre temperatures. When we hit these like 80 degrees, that's when the tyres really don't like it on this car, as I found out earlier. One of my previous attempts to record this. Okay, car just moving around on the brakes, just countering it with the steering and with modulating the brake pedal. Take advantage of that Sierra backing him up. I'll get a little bit close there. I think we're clearish. Into sixth. Yes. Okay, try and get this one right this time. I got it right that time. That is threading the needle through there in these. Absolutely murked. Check I've got no damage. Two on the engine, and that was me. No, car's okay. Not got crew chief on, so I didn't know who was there. Came across him. Just get our skates on. Oh no! Come on. Yeah, that is, that is, yeah. I think I uh, overcooked my temperatures on my tyres when I spun the car. Have a look. 77 front right, 74 front right, yeah. 76 on the back. We're on the verge of them getting up there. Car is feeling a little bit floaty light. Last lap, let's catch these guys up. Let's 
to talk about the AI. It's got absolutely tortured the tyres going through here. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, things moving around, locking up. Now the dogs are barking wildly, as if there's a murderer trying to get in the house. So that means they want to stop this record. It's not going to happen. They're doing it on purpose at this point. Not going to happen. Honing them in. Up to four. Fifth. Up to six. If I can catch them through here, I can get a draft off something. We will wheel them in for the last half of the, 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 the lap, the last lap of the race. Okay, late braking, second brake about. Oh, car moving around. Up to second, cut that curb. We're on them, we're on them. We are currently in 37 for 48. Wow. And as you can see, the cars are still having their little battles everywhere. Please give me enough room. Yes. And the Sierra coming up on the... Uh, Sierra trying to close me down. Not happening, my friend. Going through, certainly give you a lot more to think about these AI. Outside, Ooh. yeah, just that control on the brake and that extra feedback you're getting off everything. You can be so precise on this. It's ridiculous. Change the second, got all sorts of shapes then. As my wild flailing would uh, indicate on the steering wheel. Let's try not to get the uh, zapped out here this time. Come on, Sierra. Let the Audi through. So, the biggest improvement on this, it's going to sound stupid, it's the AI. The AI it is phenomenal. It just makes a huge difference. Yes, the cars feel more planted, more in control of them, more feedback coming back off the roads, but that AI is just. Unless you're into doing, you know, lap times. Hot lapping it. Um, in which case, AI? What AI? Everybody else? Oh, you're going to love this. Dancing the gear stick. So, yeah, there you go. Finally. I found out it was a mass murderer and the dogs are all dead. <laughs> have a good weekend uh, this is a rabbit hole dive looking at all sorts there's so much to look at but we won't be doing the uh, comparisons of windscreen wiper blades and <clears throat> yeah g-forces in corners we're just going for the fields and looking at some mods and how the whole thing's put together and so far I like I like it a lot